Welcome to VBAR 101, uh, episode 1. Uh, my name is Frederick Mellon. I'm gonna do a deep dive into the world of VBAR, where we will uh, go through everything from the setup to actually tweaking your helicopter so you get the best out of it. Uh, this first episode gonna cover the regular V-bar. I'm gonna do another episode later uh, regards to the mini V-bar, but this first episode will cover. And I got uh, the newer one with a Spectrum connector on it. It doesn't matter. It this will be mostly the same for for um, uh, all versions out there. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to connect the sensor. It's very very important that you connect the sensor correctly else it will actually blow up it will let the magic smoke out and uh, you will uh, have to buy another one uh, the sensor connector is on your left hand side the lower one uh, it's marked on the top side uh, where the positive and negative and signal goes the thing is it's marked black up here and the cable is brown for negative so it's important that the you connect it correctly and that's with the brown cable toward the center of the v-bar uh, as you can feel this is very loose uh, it's actually too loose and you need to secure this because if you fly this on a nitro as this it will actually vibrate loose and and then you lose your helicopter so I usually uh, use hot glue uh, and put it underneath. Uh, you can use tape or you can actually put something else on the... If you don't use the upper port, you can put something in there and tape it all together. Or do something, but the, you need to secure it. Uh, another important thing is that if you play with this with the PC, uh, when you connect the PC to the central unit, if everything is stored actually in the sensor, here is where the brain is. So if you connect it to, to um, the USB port and don't have the sensor connected, it looks like it's connected, but it won't save anything. So, so make sure it's connected and make sure it's connected correctly. Uh, Next up, we're going to show you how to connect a receiver. You can either on this one, if you have Spectrum, you can always use a satellite. But uh, I'm going to show you how to connect the receiver. One important thing is that signal is actually in the bottom pin row here. So you need to have brown towards the top. So I'm going to just quickly here connect. Uh, and please note that the label on top of the V-bar doesn't exactly align against the pin, so you have to look and count to see which pin goes where, or which connector goes where. So now it's connected. We have on the V-bar we have input on this side, and then channel one, two, three, four. It's the same. It's elevator alone collective rudder on the upside. So now we have a receiver connected. If I were to run a satellite instead, just plug it in and I can remove this one and we have exactly what's needed. The thing is, uh, the VBAR team can actually program this port uh, at will. So what they've done is when you connect a satellite to the VBAR, they make the import that says collective all of a sudden becomes output of throttle and the rudder on the V-bar becomes output of auxiliary 2. So the speed controller goes into the collective um, plug. So um, remember when you run on a uh, helicopter you run a receiver and a satellite Plug in, there is no receiver in the V-bar, so right now we have only one receiver. So for a 450, it could be okay to run one uh, satellite, but really, if you have carbon fiber frames, I would recommend running two satellites. It's more safe. It's quite easy to shield one satellite from, from reception. So now we have everything hooked up. 
all ready to go and uh, that's all for this episode.